Okay, so we're going to do the flow mapper today, okay? And um, we're going to try and recreate Minard's famous coal map, I think it was 1864. And this was the map that he made that was Britain's coal export. So we're going to make an ArcGIS recreation of this map, okay? And these are flow maps or radial flow maps if they all originate from a point and go in straight lines. UGIS has a radial function built into it or as an add-on. An ArcGIS, we can add on this flow mapper tool. The first thing I'm going to do is just add the countries. Okay, and it's quite important in this lab that we get zoom to the right extent. I find that if you are off on extent, it can cause problems in this lab. So we need to be zoomed to somewhere around here. We also in this lab need to turn off background processing. Okay, we need to turn that off. Okay. And then we need to add our flow mapper tool, which you should have copied from the shared space to your local directory. Again, please don't add uh, the one from my shared space. But I, when I go around the lab, I do see that happening consistently in every lab. So I'll add the flow mapper tool. Okay, um, that could take a few moments. Okay, so that tool's appeared. So next thing we need to add are our destination points now these have been made for you in advance and this will be the origin shape file sorry the origin is the origin obviously not the destination this is the, f the point that uh, originates in the UK where the coal, coal comes from so I've started that here it's got to be outside of the border of the UK otherwise it will be blocked by the boundaries of the UK later in the lab that's the origin, okay, and that's the source of the coal. That's going to be the source of our map, okay. I'm getting back to my extent now, okay, and now I'm going to add the destinations, the flow map points, and these are the places all around the world that we saw from the map earlier that Britain received coal, sent coal to that received coal from Britain, and there they all are, okay, and each one of these is has a value for coal, okay? Right. And that's how much coal each place received. And we'll check the units, but it's probably thousands of tons or hundreds of thousands of tons, okay? European places the most, but you know, there's big ones there. I think we'll look up the date of this map, well, it's the 19th century, New York is still receiving a lot of coal from the UK at this point. Okay. Check, I'm in a real map projection. I did put this in, in a work global projection so it's in meters so that's good it's not a good projection to actually make maps in but it works with a flow mapper when you make your final map you should really always be going to something like Robin, the Robinson protect projection if it's global okay so our source is the origin our destination is the flow map points our Z value is the coal the amount of coal the things you're not allowed to pass through are the countries okay the default the process and extent is same. Uh, hmm. Let's see. What's the best one? Medium. Uh, same as display. I think would be a good one. Okay. Cell size, as specified below, find something about twenty thousand meters for a cell size for the grid. It creates in the background. It creates a flow accumulation. Is a good number. Then the source weight, the destination weight, and the grid weight. You can read through and see how it adjusts. Okay. Uh, if you run different versions of this, okay, and then I'm going to call this the flow lines, okay. So we're making a 20,000 meter grid in the background, it's going to pass the values between the points and pass through this grid. We're doing it for this extent, which is the whole map. We've gone through these, and these are source weight. Uh, the higher the number. In the source, the more it affects the outputs. The grid weight, the higher the number, the more generalized it is. And the destination weight, the higher the number, the larger the effect. So you can play with those and see what effects you get. Okay, so let's give this a go. Okay, it's running now. Okay, and I'm going to pause the video because it could take up to 10 minutes, I'd say even 15 minutes. Okay, so that's finished now. So get the results and share. Looks good, no help, no errors, so let me bring it in. 
There's the flow lines, it's just the raw flow, flow lines, and yeah, they're looking really good. So then in symbology, it's a case of finishing her off, right? Um, we want to have the Z value. Okay, I probably want actually quantities, graduated symbols. I'll just take a guess, you know. Uh, but you can work on this in your own lab time to make this perfect. You know, we should do about 10 classes. Coal is a nasty color of brown, black, right? So we'll just go like that. Okay, so uh, there's our first attempt at the coal map, as you can see. Uh, not as good a cartographic representation of the paper map, but a good a good first try. So for this lab, you'll be symbolizing the countries, maybe on the amount of coal they received. They were doing it in a more suitable projection. I haven't seen many people switch into a global projection when they work, maybe Robinson or something. You can reproject it into afterwards, and you'll make this into a nice presentable map. You'll play with all of those values in your own time, see if you can make the map more refined. Those three different values as we scroll down there in the Flow Mapper tool, and you'll read up on the Flow Mapper website about how to set these and they've got the help and you know you'll experiment you'll you'll find it out yourselves and you'll create the best coal map you can also find the units it's in okay this is the web page that I got the code from and the toolbox there's the paper map and here's his map some of the flow maps, information on the tool, information on installation, although I've done most of this work for you. And there's some information down here on how to fix the code, but I've also done that as well. Okay, and I'll re give out this website again, but it's this website for now, and you can obviously just search for that. Okay.